Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to show you how you can create a business order form just like this one with Watts form. Suppose you want to sell your products on WhatsApp such as t-shirts or coffee mugs. An order form just like this can help you really connect with your customers and create an effective interface between the consumer and your business. So let's get right into it. Here we are on the Watts form homepage and the first thing you do is log into your account. So let me just do that right here. So here we are on our forms page and what we're going to do is click new watch form and put in your WhatsApp number and choose your language and click next. And what you can do is start from scratch, use one of these pre-made templates or convert a Google form. But what we're going to do today is start from scratch. So here we have our clear canvas for whatever we want to do. So for the purpose of this demo, we're going to simulate the order form for a clothing store. So let's get right into that. We start off with our title. Let's give our clothing store a name. Let's say it's called Supernova Shirts. And let's give a description. Let's say the best shirts in town. Okay, now next up we can add our basic information such as the customer's name. So we can edit that. Uh, we can put some placeholder text here. Uh, let's say John Doe. And similarly, we ask for the customer's contact information such as email address and phone number. So let me just add that in right now. So there we are, we've asked the customer for basic information such as the name, phone number and email address. Now we can ask a basic question. Let's make it a multiple choice question. And let's ask whether the customer has shopped with us before. So let's say... And we can put the options as either yes, or no. In a business like this, it is useful to have this information so you can know whether the customers are returning or not. Now that we have basic information, we can move to our shirt selection. So let's go on to that. Let's create a new title and say catalog. And under this category, we can add our shirt selection. So let's put in a multiple choice and we can name it our shirt collection. So let me add our first shirt here. Let's take an image and wait for it to load in. And there we go, it's a red polo. So let's say just that and give a price. There we go, we are selling a red polo for $9.99. And similarly, we can add a few more shirts. So let's just do that real quick. And there we go, we've added a few shirts to our catalog here. And now what we can do is ask the customer their shirt size. So let's go into multiple choice again. What is your shirt size? And we can put in our options. There we go, we have a few options here for the shirt size. And now we can move on to the address, the delivery address of where the shirts need to be delivered. So let's add in a title again and say delivery address and we can add in text input so we can say address line one copy that and we can make it address line two and then we can ask for their state or province and we can ask for their country and next up we can ask for their postal or zip code and there we go we've got the customer's address and that's about it for a basic order form we have our introduction the name phone number email and the question and we have a selection of shirts here we ask the customer what their shirt size is and we have our delivery address and with that what we can do is thank the customer for their time let's say thank you and our form is done so what we can do is publish this form and it is published and we can share it. There are multiple methods to share here. We can share on WhatsApp, on a website, social media or with a QR code. For our demo here, we just need WhatsApp and we can choose any one of these messages and have it sent on WhatsApp by clicking this button right here, share on WhatsApp. And there we go, we can send it and the customer will see this message and they can click this form. The customer will open the form and they'll get this page and they can fill in their details, choose a shirt and their shirt size, the delivery address 
and you can submit the form and there you go that's how you create a form for whatsapp with what's form similarly you can make order forms for any kind of business doesn't matter if you're selling clothes or collectibles or action figures whatever it is what's form is a great tool that you can use to carry out this task thank you for watching this video we hope you learned something here today another thing we want to mention is that 97 percent of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed so if you like what you see here on this channel please consider subscribing it helps us out a lot and on that note once again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye